refine your goal. In this section, I'm going to explain how to refine gold. If you do this, you can sell it directly to jewelers. I want to know that you really need to build up relationships with the people who buy pure gold before you start this process. That's because you won't be able to put an ASI mark on the gold like a refiner can. Thus, if someone doesn't trust you, he won't buy the gold from you. Before you can start the refining process, you will need to gather some materials. You will need gold scale, graphite crucible, fireproof surface, acetylene torque, nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, pound of urea, gold precipitate, funnel, coffee filter, aqua ammonia, distilled water, beaker, hot plate, paper towels, alcohol, ingot mold, crucible tongs, 3 heat resistant glass containers, pot for boiling water, and protective gear. Once you gather your materials, you will need to go through the refining process. The process is divided into 11 different steps. You'll need to weigh the gold, melt the gold, let the gold harden, add nitric acid, add hydrochloric acid, separate the acids from the particles, neutralize the nitric acid, use the gold precipitate, filter the solution, wash the gold, create a gold in it. Before I cover the different steps in detail, I want to talk about safety. You will use nitric and hydrochloric acids during this process, so you'll have to be safe. I recommend that you wear gloves, goggles, a plastic apron, and a mask. Otherwise, you might burn yourself with acid or inhale dangerous fumes. Even with a protective gear, you have to be incredibly careful. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Weigh the gold. You will have to use a specific amount of chemicals in order to refine your gold. Because of that, you have to know how much your gold weighs. Thus, the first thing you need to do is weigh your gold. Once you weigh the gold, write the weight down. Then move on to the next step. Now you need to place your crucible on the fireproof surface. Put all the gold inside of the crucible and heat up with a your torque. You need to keep the torque steady until all the gold is melted. This is the step number two to smelt the gold. Step number three, let the gold harden. Once the gold melts, you'll need to remove the crucible from the fireproof surface. Use your tongs to pick the crucible up, then look at your gold. If you have a lot, you'll need to separate it. If you only have a little, leave it where it is and let it harden. Step number four, add nitric acid to the gold. Next, you need to separate the gold from the metals and it's, and it's mixed with. Put on your protective gear and take the container outside. Then you need to put 30 millimeters of nitric acid for every 3 ounce of gold have into the container. If you didn't have full troy of ounce of gold, you will need to do some math to determine how much nitric acid you need. For instance, if you have half a, a troy ounce, you will need to put 15 millimeters of nitric acid in the container. Determine how much acid you need and then add it in. Let it sit for 30 minutes. Step number 5, add hydrochloric acid to mix to the mixture. Once the 30 minutes is up, you'll be ready to add in the hydrochloric acid. You need to put 120 millimeters of hydrochloric acid for every 3 ounce of gold you have. Again, you will have to do some math if you have less than a 3 ounce of gold. Let the mixture sit overnight. Step number 6, separate the acid from the particles. Now you're going to have liquid and particles in the container. Take out a fresh container and pour all of the liquid into it. Don't let the particles mate over to the new container. Step number 7. Neutralize the citric acid. Next, you'll need to put a quart of water on a burner. Add a pound of urea to the water and bring it to the boil. Then slowly add the water and urea mixture to the acid in your fresh container. Don't add it too quickly or the solution will bubble over. Step number 8. Use a gold precipitate. Boil another quart of water and add a gold precipitation to it. Per precipitant to it. The amount you add will depend on the precip precipitant you use. If you use storm gold precipitate, you will need to add an ounce of precipitant for every ounce of gold. Once the mixture boils, add it to the acid slowly. 
step number nine, filter the solution. Once it separates, you should have a yellow solution. And there should be brown particles that look like mud at the bottom of the container. Those particles are gold. Take a clean container and put a funnel and a coffee filter in it. Pour the solution through the filter. Step number 10, wash the gold. Then take the gold and put it back in a container and add water to it. Let the water sit for several minutes. Then remove the water from the container, put the water into the container and now hold acid. Do this four times. Step number 11, create a gold ingot. Put your beaker on a hot plate. Increase the temperature uh, of the plate slowly over time. Continue to raise the heat until the gold turns into a powdery substance. Then remove the beaker from the hot plate. Lay out several paper towels and put some powder in each of the paper towels. Wrap the gold in the paper towels up and place them in the alcohol. Then take the gold out of the paper towels and place it backwards into your crossbow. You will melt it once again. Take the melted gold and put it on an ingot mold. It will harden into the shape of the mold. Once you have the gold, you will need to decide if you want to sell or keep it. If you want to sell it, approach some of your contacts. They can always test it for purity.